Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dutton Lanson two-speed direct drive hand winch with the handbrake. It has a 2,000 pound weight capacity. Now this is a heavy duty winch. It's designed for horizontal pulling, so it's ideal for boat trailers and other pulling applications. As we mentioned, you can see it includes this handbrake for manually controlling your load release, so it's perfect for boat trailers that have a heavy boat or a steep ramp. The handle on this is a nice ratcheting handle, has a nice ergonomic grip to it, and it is a quick attach handle, which allows for easy change from one gear or high speed to low speed for heavier loads. And just to show you how you remove the handle, right now we have it on the rear shaft, which is your low speed. If you want to go up to the other shaft for the high speed, push, push in on the clip at the bottom right here, slide it off, and then just push it on the clip, slide it all the way in, it'll lock in place and you're ready to go. So it's pretty easy to put the handle to whatever gear you need. <clears throat> the gears on this are high carbon steel heat treated gears. The gear ratio, they do a low speed and a high speed. The low speed is for more powerful cranking and that would be the shaft back here. Gives you a 12.4 to 1 ratio and what that means is for 12.4 revolutions of the handle gives you one revolution of the drum. If you put it on the high speed, which is the one it's on now, that'll give you faster, easier cranking. Has a ratio of 5.4 to 1, which again means 5.4 revolutions of the handle will give you one revolution of the drum. This winch has a zinc tough plate finish on the whole winch. This tough plate finish has about three times the corrosion resistance of a standard zinc plating and about 30% greater corrosion resistance when compared to powder coating. Now on the drum itself, it does use permanently lubricated bearings on the shaft. The drum hub diameter, which it, here's your drum, drum hub right in here, the diameter on this is one and one eighths inches. Now this also has right back here, you can see this one-way reversible ratchet pawl that we can switch to allow the cable to wind off of either the top or the bottom of the reel. The one-way design also allows it to ratchet our freewheel. So right now you can see we have it in the ratchet position. If you flip it over this way, you can see that it allows it to freewheel. And then when you click it back, it puts it into the ratchet position. <clears throat> this part is made in the USA. Capacity is 2,000 pounds. The maximum drum capacity, if you use cable on this, it requires a 9 30 seconds inch diameter cable, and you can get 58 feet of cable on here. It does come with a cable keeper that allows you to attach the cable to the drum. You can also use strap on here. The strap length you can put on here is 38 feet. Now the handle length, which will be measured from the center here to the center here, this is going to be about nine and a half inches. The base on this, let me just sort of flip this over and show you the bottom. The base here, you can see it has multiple mounting holes to fit your application, but the length on it is going to be right about six and three quarter inches, and the width of it is going to be right about four and three quarter inches wide. So what I wanted to do now is let me just move this to the end so we can crank it. have room to crank it here. So again, right now we have it in the middle shaft, so that's the high speed, which is the 5.4 to 1. So you can see there it is ratcheting. And again, if you flip that over, that just lets it freewheel. If we go back to ratcheting, and again, let's move it to the rear shaft, slide that handle off, put it right back onto the rear shaft snaps into place. Again, this is the low speed. Uh, it'll give you more powerful cranking. It's a 12.4 to 1 for the rear shaft. So you can see the cranking on that. Now we mentioned the brake. If you notice when I push down on this, the brake will hold it into place. So you can't crank it anymore. You can see it holds it. It won't move. If you let it go, then you can crank it. But that's going to do it for the review 
on this Dutton Lanson two-speed direct drive hand winch with the handbrake and a 2,000 pound weight capacity.